Right. So, whilst I was here with Dave Osavo doing a little video and, you know, schmoozing with the stars of the uh, YouTube world, I thought I'd, I'd take this opportunity to interview Nige. Now, Nige, you are the aide Edmonton to um, Dave Osavo's Rick Mail. Well, would that so be correct? I've heard, uh, I think Abe Edmondson might be a little more talented than I am, but uh, it seems that people think that, yes. Yeah. Yes, mate. So, how did you ever get wrapped up with the Savo? Oh, God, we got together in 2000, 2001. Uh, we were working in IT back then. Donkey's back. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's go back here for a second. <laughs> How did you go from IT to being electricians? Well, I was in IT for years. Doing what? I, I, I mainly specialised in servers, networks, Unix, Linux. I'm an open source kind of freak. If you know. Oh, you're one of them that so would partition their Windows computer to have. No, no, no. Windows can. No. No? Screw Windows. Do you uh, want Microsoft... partition it to have both operating systems on? No, definitely not. I remove anything to do with Microsoft stick Linux on it Wow um, but I found IT I was getting fat lazy behind a desk and I thought well, what's wrong with being fat <laughs> <laughs> well uh, I just well I've got a bad back bad knees bad ankles bad feet bad, bad feet so you I decided need to become up, an electrician <laughs> yeah because it's more there's more uh, moving involved right? yeah and, yeah there's, there's a lot to be said for keeping your body moving do you know what I mean yeah yeah you know we used to go out at lunchtime for uh, lattes or beers or food and, yes and it just piles on yes you know? it does just, it does so You've been with Savo since 2001, poncing around, do getting your qualifications. Because I know you guys went, you done, you done your course, you got all, all, all ticketed up. Yeah. Then you wanted to do it properly, so you went and yeah. done it all again. Well, the thing is, with I was in, I was 40, in my 40s at least, and uh, you can't, you can't go out and sight and earn what an apprentice earns. You just can't do it. No. So you have to get in there as quick as possible, be real careful with how you're working after the uh, the old uh, five week wonder or whatever yeah. the bloody hell it was at the time. And, uh, and once you're earning some money, then you gotta go and uh, seal your qualifications. Yeah. Get, you know, while you're getting your experience. It's, and it was a case of the first jobs would take ages because yeah. you're pouring through the regs book through your on-site <laughs> you want to make sure you're doing it all absolutely correctly and a job would take a lot longer and it's not just that as well it's not just pouring through the regs it's getting that rhythm that you get as you become an electrician so like knowing what noggins to go through not yes, making the same yes. mistake having to pull it out go in again yeah. and all that sort of stuff also learning the business because when we started uh, i was out on my own dave was out on his own yeah and if we had a larger job um so, i'd contract in dave or dave would contract in me you'd uh, team up yes join uh, forces and i learned through that that is, is, it, is it one of them things sorry is it one of them things where you take two two halves and make a hole <laughs> yes well you can definitely say that me and dave make at least one hole <laughs> the asshole probably uh, <laughs> so um but i learned through that i i'm not a business head i hate paperwork i hate going out pricing i hate invoicing i just it was just I'm too so much i'm so bad at it I'm i like so bad at i like to go home be with my wife be with my family i just it's just not me. Yeah. So I get that. So in the end, I had a word with Dave, and he employed me, and I earn very little money. Very <laughs> little money. But we do have fun. Um, I mean, what people see on YouTube is a tiny little slice of what we're doing, and we're having a laugh. We're trying yeah. to make fun fun out of it. And you mentioned Aid and Rick, and well, both of us love what they did. Yeah, you know, I bet. So bottom. So, oh, absolutely! On. I'm rewatching it now. You know the, the so, young ones, all that sort of stuff. So believe it or not, I'm a tad younger than you. Um, so I'm 38. So we was watching Bottom, and when we was at school, that was everything. Bottom was everything. Brilliant. Yeah. It was brilliant, and I remember just sitting there laughing at it, just laughing at Rick Mal's face, 
and you know it just it was brilliant stuff yeah so you took a massive fan to that oh yeah big time my grandkids they're only young now you know they they watch it they laugh they love it so you know hold on a minute where was that accent from my accent yeah it's not from around here it is it what that coventry is... coventry wow you sound like pretty northern well my family's from north uh well some of it so i've got some from wales my granddad was from lancashire um, so I picked up phrases from me ground and like get gone, you know. But I, I, like I feel that. I feel like you're about to say, and Betty's up pot from top north. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do tend to talk like that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I can hear it. I, I hear it sometimes myself, and I don't know where the hell it comes from. It's probably now. I, just, I don't know. You ended up telling Savo to buy Makita, didn't you? I did, yeah. What and nonsense and the, is that? And the first bits he bought just <laughs> promptly broke down and all he did was bitch about it. But come on, he was on Ryobi before. I mean, that's what do they, they call that prosumer, which to my mind is, it's DIY gear with pro put in front of it. Yeah, 100%. But to be fair,